listen, across the street from the Church of Calvary St. George on East 16th in Rutherford Place, it's this building right here. Now this building right here is a school. As you can tell it says, have a great year, together again, all right, school, the first day of school in New York City is tomorrow, September 13th, 2021. As you can tell, it says Friends Seminary, kindergarten through grade 12, which make me believe this was the original building, as you can see. Let's go to the top. Yeah, this building looks like an early century building. You know, something that's probably built around 1910, 1903, something like that. Probably has a cornerstone on it if I can find it, but I'm not. Now, you may have heard of Friends Seminary. Most definitely you've heard of them as their most colloquial, as their most colloquial known as they're known as Quakers so this is a Quaker school now this building right here which was an add-on to the original building right there this building here as you can tell from the style of architecture this building probably went up in the 60s you know somewhere in the mid 60s early 60s and if you can see there's a rooftop play area on this building so this one was engineered for expansion now this other building right here which is a basically a bridge it connects the buildings to the church on the corner this building you can see probably went up in the 70s based on its type of architecture all right all right it says diversity integrity equality simplicity study peace service and silence and this would be the original building established 1786 of course i don't believe this building's been here since 1786 this building probably went up somewhere in the last half of the 18th century or can you get it can i get it in here yeah see this would be the original church building for the quakers and then you go around the corner here it says enter on 222 East 16th Street. Over here, oh. Tomorrow's the first day of school, so I guess the guys are coming and cleaning out the facility. There's a play area for the young kids over here. And this would be the side of the church, which I guess this side right here would be the school entrance for the lower grades. And then on the weekends or whenever they have their religious study, see, there's a sign here that tells you who they are. 15th Street Friends Meeting, unprogrammed worship. That's how, that's how Quakers do it. Hey, look, they even put a web address on there, so this site is not that old. Manhattan Friends Meeting, Sunday, 9.30 to 10. Manhattan Mennonite Fellowship. Huh. I knew there was some familiarity between the Quakers and the Mennonites. I didn't know what. Because, you know, you'll see in New York City, you'll see a lot of Mennonites here, especially in Brooklyn. There's an address in Brooklyn on Atlantic Avenue, which seems to be like their world Mennonite headquarters. Uh, you'll see a lot of Amish in New York City. You'll see, uh, not, not only for Rumspringa, but just for general purposes so you see a lot of shakers but shakers don't really exist anymore because you know the leader of the organization was a woman and as she aged there was no one to replace her so they pretty much died out all right see the religious society of the friends those are quakers and it says the seminary is around the corner on 16th street all right now when you go on 15th street which i'm going to show you there's another building that they have over there you know, because, all right, let's go down this way, and let's get further back so you can see more, but there's a lot of shades in this area, so, all right, this will be the play area for the kids, the younger kids, it's got a gate here, and then, you know, since Corona, I haven't seen a lot of these churches open until recently. And being that, you know, I'm tired. When I do wake up in the morning, if your service has already happened, I'll just have to catch you on a flippity-floppity, you know? 
flippity floppity. All right, so this one says 1860. That's when this building was built. So this building was built at the beginning of the Civil War, 1861. No, no, it says 1860, yes. 1860, so this building was built at the beginning of the Civil War. Even be, it was before the Civil War. So, because Quakers were known to be abolitionists and they were against forced servitude. It's a fascinating building. But I tell you what's really fascinating is when you, when you're going around New York and Quakers and Mennonites agree to live a life of simplicity but here they are in New York City, and then you go to Brooklyn. I uh, can't remember that side street, but there used to be a White Castle right there. And then there's a Medicis Health Clinic right across the street. Oh, as a matter of fact, it's over there where St. Mary's Catholic Church is. Where St. Mary's Catholic Church is on uh, Atlantic Avenue. And uh, side street there, you know, there's a building right across the street. And that is the World Mennonite Headquarters. Would you believe it? Why would you pick New York City? You could pick some tiny burg in, you know, Chautauqua County or something like that, and you went and picked New York City as the basis of your religious organization. I mean, Jehovah's Witnesses did it too. I mean, that big building downtown, the Watchtower, that's their headquarters. So this is the, I'm assuming it's the church building. And what does that say here? On Sundays, this door is open to everyone for a day of worship and fellowship. So this would be the main church building right here. All right, 221 East 15th Street. Now I go across the street and it says Friends Seminary. I mean, this one, this building basically, they must own the land because they wedged this thing between two of these monstrously ugly white brick buildings. If you're in New York and you live in one of these white brick buildings, you gotta tell me about it because they are absolutely hideous from outside. You know, when you're going up 2nd Avenue and 3rd Avenue and, you know, and you see these things, these buildings are hideous, man. White brick. I mean, ugh, yuck. But anyway, so they got this little, what is this? One, two, uh, three, four, five. Uh, this is a five or six-story building. You know, it looks like a six-story building just wedged between these two white brick buildings. So clearly, they've been here a long time because I'm assuming these white brick buildings they may have went up in the late 60s, early 70s. And whoever was here, it was normally, it would be that type of style, those townhouses that you see at the bottom of the block. At the bottom of the block here, that's uh, those four-story townhouses. The whole block would have been that, you know, just to be just to be thorough on the, on the aesthetic quality of the neighborhood. And then they must have paid those people back when nobody wanted to live in New York State during the crack days and the crimey days tore them down and built these ugly things. I guess there's more money per square foot, but they are hideous. But anyway, this is the Friends Seminary, also known as the Quaker School, over here on East 16th Street and East 15th Street, Rutherford Place, East Village, Manhattan.